Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, what we are going to do, we are going to download a file from S3 Bucket. Uh, so we are going to use the Amazon account uh, to create the S3 Bucket first, uh, then upload some uh, files in that, and then uh, finally we are going to give some permissions to create policy and users, and uh, then uh, we will use the ADF to download that file uh, from S3 Bucket to the uh, Azure uh, Blob Storage. So let's go ahead and take a look here. I have this uh, Azure AWS uh, account. And I'm gonna go ahead and log into it and uh, we are going to do everything from scratch so at least uh, you have good idea how to create uh, all the bucket and uh, work uh, with the uh, folders and files and then uh, uh, how to download them in the Azure Data Factory okay so well, let me see but it is p3 7 or it is Okay, that looks fine. Provide the password. So as of now, I do not have uh, any bucket on this uh, account. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for S3. Uh, so scalable storage in cloud. So it's right here. And now we will be able to create our bucket. It's a little slow. So I have actually, now I was actually testing this out. So I have a couple of buckets. I am going to go to create a bucket here and then we create a new bucket. It's going to be ADF bucket test. So East US is just fine. Doesn't matter you know, wherever you want to create it. Choose a bucket if you copy settings from the existing bucket. I don't want to have uh, used that. So I'm going to create a totally one new one. Block public access for this bucket. Yes. So it is checked. So it is a blocking for everything. And then uh, we are going to go ahead and create our bucket. So it's in a bucket with the same name already exists. So what we have to do. So what we will say TB IT ADF bucket. Okay. So I hope this bucket is not taken no? because it has to be unique. Okay, so this uh, bucket is created, TBIT ADF bucket is created. And the next, uh, what we are gonna do, we are gonna create some folders in that. So let's uh, click on this bucket. And now there are create folder options. So create folder. And uh, let's go ahead and create a folder called Amir. Create a folder right there. And then create another folder. Just for the sake, I wanna show you uh, Raza. There's another folder and now what we are going to do we are going to load some files to the Amer folder so click on Amer and then here say upload now once you click on upload add files and select the files from your desktop so in my case I have this folder where I had where are tons of, like five six of files are sitting and I'm going to click on upload it's going to upload all those files so you can see there's some text files some uh, a Word document and uh, Excel and all that. So I don't care. I will use different for the testing. So Amir uh, folder has uh, this uh, different uh, files now. So we can go right here, destination, TBIT, ADF bucket, slash Amir. Okay, so that's where our um, uh, files are. So if you want to navigate, you can go back here and then navigate to your buckets. So if you click Amazon S3, you are going to see all those three buckets here. This is the one that we are going to use it. Okay, now what we have to do, we have to cre create a policy and user so we can uh, use that. So we are going to provide some permission. Uh, so we can use this uh, IAM manage access to the Azure uh, AWS resource. Click on that. And first of all, what we will do, we will create a policy. So in the policy, we'll define the permissions and then uh, we will use that policy for our uh, user. Go here and uh, click on a right, uh, create policy. And uh, once it's there, you're going to choose a service. So in this case, it's going to be S3. So that's what we are going to use. And now next is uh, what type of permissions you are going to provide. So if you go to the uh, Microsoft document, these are the required permission to work with the uh, Amazon S3 bucket. So, so you see right there. So if you want to access the data, copy the data from Amazon S3, these are the permissions you need. For these permission, if you're working with Azure Data Factory UI, so you want to navigate or browse to different uh, uh, containers or folders inside the bucket, so you need these permissions. If you don't have these permissions, it's still going to work. You can download the files and all that uh, with the, these two permissions. But uh, when you're authoring or developing,
shopping uh, pipeline the azure data factory these are really helpful because you will be able to navigate without these uh, is uh, it's not going to let you navigate so you have to type a lot of things okay so uh, let's go back here and uh, we are going to provide all those uh, permissions in the list uh, list all my buckets uh, and I have seen that in some of the cases, companies don't want to do it because they have multiple buckets and they don't want to give you only permission in some of them. So they don't want to give you a list to all my buckets and all that. So list buckets is another one. So once you have that, and now you want to read permission. So in the read permission, get object, that's important. And get object, get bucket location. And then you need get object version. So these are the permissions you need. Now you are going to go ahead and uh, in the resources, click here. And uh, it's going to ask you specify resources. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and uh, click all the resources. Um, if you want to specify, you can uh, click uh, here and add ARN. So provide the bucket name and all that. So you can provide your bucket name. In my case, I'm going to be OK because I'm OK to provide on all the resources. So this policy that I'm providing the permission. This is implementing on all the resources I have. So I have three buckets and the, the, on which uh, these permissions are will be provided if I will add that policy. OK, so go ahead and uh, hit uh, add tags. I'm OK without adding tags. I'm going to review it, and uh, I'm going to provide the name. So let's uh, call this uh, AD, TBIT ADF uh, policy. So that's the name I have given. OK permissions for ADF and now this is all done and you're going to hit create policy once you hit the create policy it will be creating a policy and you can see that the policy has been created successfully and you can see right here that's our policy now we can copy this guy just in case we need to use it go to the users and we are going to add a new user so I'm going to call this user TB IT user, TB IT or TB user, simple, and then uh, 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 programmatic access. So that's what we are going to use. It's going to create the access key for us uh, and the secret that we will be using in Azure Data Factory. So hit uh, permissions, and now it is asking, hey, um, add user group, copy permissions from existing user, attach existing policies. Yes, so I'm going to use a policy. Uh, that uh, we have uh, already created and uh, then uh, it will be providing these uh, permissions uh, uh, what we have provided in this uh, policy so I'm going to click there and uh, next uh, I don't care about that part let's review it and now create the user so another user is created and we can download the CSV file because uh, once we download the CSV file that CSV file is going to have a couple of things that we will be using in our Azure Data Factory. So here is my username. I really don't need to use the username. I will be using access uh, key ID and a secret. So that's what I'm going to use. Um, and there is a console login. If you need to use that, I don't need to use that as well. So I'm going to use these two. OK, so I'm going to copy this guy. And then now let's go to the Azure Data Factory. And the, in the Azure Data Factory, let's go to the Manage here and go to the Linked Service. So I'm going to create a new Linked Service and select Amazon S3. Now you hit and Continue. And let's name this one uh, TB Amazon S3 TBIT ADF. OK, so uh, that's a demo for us. And they provide the access key here. Go back to your uh, Excel, copy the secret access key, and provide it there. OK. Now, if you guys remember that, uh, in uh, when I was showing you, uh, like uh, uh, there are three permissions, or they are not really required. Uh, and uh, those are three permissions are uh, in this, these, these are the three permissions. So if you have not provided that permission, uh, so what you can do, you can still uh, test uh, your connection in the Azure uh, Data Factory and uh, what you have to do, you have to navigate to the file, uh, to file path. So in this case, uh, let's say, I will say my bucket was, uh, I have to find the bucket name, I do for, totally forgot that. Okay, so uh, S3, let's go there. Because I was working with them, uh, some of the clients and uh, they had this issue, they did not have all the permissions uh, such as uh, 
uh, what we are seeing right there. So they had this uh, trouble. So let's copy this guy. And now what we are going to do, uh, we are going to provide the bucket and then a directory. In this case, I'm going to be saying Amir, so you can test connection. So if I will take these all permissions from this, uh, these are three permissions. Um, if you guys go to the policy, you see those permissions. So if I'm going to go to the policy and uh, sorry, IAM. So remember that we have a provided a, uh, different policies, uh, permissions, right? So there are three more uh, policies we have, uh, sorry, permissions we have provided. And uh, those uh, permissions are not really required. And uh, they're only required uh, if we are authoring. So the, like you need uh, get object and get object version. These are the important ones and the rest of that uh, or you're used for authoring. So in this case, if I remove these guys, I will not be able to test my connection directly. Um, so I have to, I can go ahead and still connect by using to file path and uh, you know, that, that will do it. Now I hit uh, create. And especially uh, I will show you where uh, you will face those problem. If you don't provide those permission, where else you will face the problem. So now what we are gonna do, we are gonna go ahead and create a new pipeline and I'm gonna call, I'm going to call this pipeline down PL download file. PL download S3 file. Okay, so get the copy activity and uh, now in the copy activity right there, Go to the source, create a new data set, and select Amazon S3. And now I'm gonna be okay with binary because I'm not loading the data directly to the table or anything like that. So I'm gonna just copy or download this file. Click, uh, click, uh, continue. So um, binary uh, S3. Okay, now select the link service. So remember that this is the link service, Amazon S3, TBIT, ADF. And here, now, if I would not have provided uh, these three permissions I was talking about, uh, like these guys, so you will not be able to see, if you will click here, your uh, root folder will show right there, but nothing will show under it. So as I have provided these three permissions, uh, now it is uh, showing me all these uh, folder uh, buckets there so that's the thing so if you don't provide those three permissions uh, you're gonna have the root folder right there but not a big deal in that case you can just type uh, your bucket name directory and file name so just to, to remind you guys uh, this is very important because I, I was face, seeing that uh, uh, people uh, who did not provide this permission uh, they will not be able to navigate uh, to this uh, UI okay so they have to uh, type it. In my case, I have provided those permissions, so I'm going to be TBIT ADF bucket, and then it's going to take me to the next uh, folders, and Ahmed is uh, the one folder. So I can uh, do multiple things. Uh, maybe I will do download the customer file and uh, hit uh, OK. And now I'm all good here. And uh, then uh, what I have to do, I have to go to the sync, and in the sync, uh, I'm going to go to new and Azure blob storage. Okay, so binary is fine. And uh, here is a binary. I'm gonna call this one ADLS, your data lake, whatever, or blob storage, or you know, um, blob, is the blob. Okay. Now select the link service. I already have the link service. So that's Azure Blob Storage link service. If you want to create the new one, I'm fine with that. So it's not gonna be a big deal. You have to provide your uh, subscription. Then you will provide your um, storage account, and uh, finally. Uh, that's it. That, then now it is Azure Blob Storage 3 uh, that is created. So it's a connection to our uh, storage. So you can see that this is our storage and in this storage we have these containers. Now in uh, this one of the container, uh, see output right there. Uh, I have this uh, uh, these files sitting there, but uh, we are downloading the customer file. So it is asking, okay, in which uh, uh, file path you would like to download. I'm going to go to the output folder and uh, select OK. I can uh, type the name if I want. So I can call it customer.txt or if I don't even do that, I believe it will just overwrite uh, with the name it's gonna bring, but I'm gonna write uh, customer and uh, now we are all good and let's debug. So it's going to read uh, the file from uh, Amazon S3 bucket and then uh, download that file to our uh, blob storage in the ADF, uh, in the Azure, sorry. 
so by using the ADF so right there I'm gonna uh, hit uh, refresh and uh, the customer file was not there so now the customer file is created so if I click on a customer file this is gonna be like very this uh, test file is good so that's all I had in this file okay now we learn uh, how to uh, in this video we learn a lot of things uh, so we learn about uh, Amazon S3 and then uh, how to create the policy how to create a user and how to uh, upload the files to the S3 bucket by just uh, using the that uh, uh, upload button in the uh, Amazon S3 bucket uh, portal and then uh, finally we learn how to download the file by using ADF pipeline so I hope uh, this video will be helpful and uh, you will be able to use in uh, real some uh, real projects uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, please go ahead and subscribe my channel and i will see you guys uh, in next video